Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Arms and Armor. Today I want to show you a new and improved product. Right? This may look familiar. Uh, it is our Nordland axe. Right? So this axe is a replica of an archaeological find from the 9th century uh, from Norway. It's a Peterson Type C uh, axe, which means that it's deeply bearded and has this slightly curved cutting edge to it with a nearly flat top surface. Right, so that's its form, its shape. Uh, these axes were utility axes and fighting axes in period. Now this iconic bearded shape, there's a couple reasons for it. Number one, it makes the axe lighter and it uses less metal than if you had an axe, say, that was just steel right up to the socket there, right? That would have used an unnecessary amount of really expensive metal back in the day. Another reason is that high-end examples of these axes were made of iron, and then they would have a welded-in steel bit along the edge here, right? Which could be hard, that would hold a nice edge. So our previous example of this, which was a great utility axe, great fighting axe, uh, was made of unhardened steel, right? In our continuous quest to improve our products, we've decided to make this one in a differentially hardened uh, alloy, right? So now the edge of this ax is slack quenched, it's hardened. We actually forge the edge out by hand uh, and then we quench it in oil and harden it. And we've decided to go with a more historical uh, finish on these things where we are laying the ax that's still hot from the forge in a bath of linseed oil, which essentially gives this baked on black finish. Right? You can see here that it's a natural finish. It's got some variation to it. Uh, and I think it gives it a really cool historical uh, vibe. You can see some hammer marks on the edge here uh, of the item. So with this new hardened edge, right, we're essentially producing a, a higher end historical replica. There were axes in period that were entirely iron. There are also more expensive ones that had a steel edge. So we've gone up market in the Viking age with these things. You know, this has always been an awesome historical ax. Now I think it's also an awesome modern tomahawk or ax, right? So this still a great fighting axe, it's a great utility axe, it's a great throwing axe. The head here, you can see that we've historically just pressure fitted it on, right? So this whole thing is tapered and fitted so that the axe head is held on to the shaft just with friction, right? This means if you're throwing it and it gets loose, you just flip it over, bonk, and you can put it back on there. Uh, instead of having to completely replace the haft, right? This is a historical method of hafting uh, these things. So I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna put it up here close so you can see it. That edge on there, that cool uh, natural uh, blacking from the fat getting cooked onto it. Uh, the handles are hickory that we have an Amish guy <laughs> who goes out and gets us prime hickory uh, for these things. They're exceptional handles. Uh, the shaping fits the hand beautifully. I think you're gonna be really psyched to get one of these and you're gonna really enjoy it uh, when you get your hands on it. Thanks very much.